Hey y'all, I know this look a little dramatic, but unfortunately, Miss Rona is here in Houston. This severe threat is a level one. We are ordered to stay at home. As you can see, that's what the fuck I'm doing. I am at home, bored as shit. So I know this is the do grow challenge, yes, but I want to rant about Corona. Miss Rona ain't trying to leave. She fucking up shit, fucking up my happiness. I'm tired of this damn virus. I'm like, look, y'all figured out how to make Ebola go away. Y'all figured out how to make SARS and other shit go away. Now y'all letting this coronavirus kick y'all ass and y'all don't know how to get rid of it? Well, to the dumb asses that let the virus come in this country from China and other countries, your stupid ass knew about this damn virus and you should have did something months ago because it never would have took this bad of an effect in March and February and affected the United States. So that's your fucking fault that we got to deal with this coronavirus and shit. Yes, I'm pissed. I was supposed to go to Miami, y'all, be living my best life in Miami for my birthday in August. I can't do that now because Miss Rona is not having it. And they don't allow this virus to just go crazy. And they ain't even trying to come up with a solution. They want to hold everything up. And they expect us to vote for them? No. You didn't do shit about this virus but make it worse by allowing it to come in this country and wreak havoc on people's lives. And it's killing people. And I'm like, I'm so damn sick of this virus. I'm like, look, if y'all don't find a solution with the quickness so us Americans can live our normal lives and go back to living our best life, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of Corona. When this shit is over, I don't want to see Corona beer. I don't want to hear nothing about it. And I want to know why it took y'all asses so long to do something about it. Mask or not, it's still killing people with the mask and without the mask. Yes, they are enforcing us to wear the mask. I understand that. As you see, I have on a mask. I have mine. I keep it when I go out. Now, I will say, depending on where I'm at, if it's required, I wear it. When I'm exercising in the park, I'm not going to be exercising sweating with this damn mask on because it's already hard for me to talk to y'all and breathe at the same damn time. That's why I don't have my glasses on because it be fogging up. I still have to learn how to properly breathe through this thing. And I'm just like, ooh, I got shortness of breath. Now, as y'all see, yes, that's not all the grease throughout my head. I did spray some all sheen. So that's the little shiny pellets y'all see on my strands in this video. Yes, I'm sick of Miss Rona fucking up everything. Can y'all get the shit right by October? Because I do not want to have a coronavirus Thanksgiving. I be damned I have a coronavirus Christmas. Shit, y'all already ruined the spring for me. Y'all gonna ruin the 4th of July. And then y'all gonna ruin my damn birthday with this virus shit? The least y'all motherfuckers can do is get it fixed before Thanksgiving so people can go back to living a normal life. That's the least y'all could do. At least try to find a solution by damn Labor Day. We sick of this shit and this damn virus. And to the people that honestly got the virus innocently, my heart goes out to y'all and to y'all's families. I'm sorry that y'all got it to the people that lost loved ones who were responsible and got it innocently. I'm sorry. But to the ones that want to go out being buck wild, reckless, your ass should have been got the damn virus. To the irresponsible ones that don't give a damn about life, that want to go out, party, drink, and be wild, and be crazy, that, and want to spread shit and spread the virus by being buck wild and crazy, y'all the ones that should have damn died. Yes, to the buck wild crazy ones. But to the innocent people, that sh this virus should have never took them. This should have took the evil, crazy people. Should have never killed the innocent people with this virus. And I'm so sorry that innocent people is dying. I would never wish death or nothing on nobody. 
to the innocent people that lost their lives, I'm so sorry. To the ones that just don't give a damn, want to be buck wild, psycho, and crazy, and do everything under the sun, suck and fuck and not give a damn, and just be wild and crazy, y'all the ones that need to catch this damn shit. But to the innocent people that caught it and dealing with this, this is horrible. This is awful. Because all you're trying to do is live a normal, good life. And then you got to suffer for it with this damn virus. So as you can see, I'm at home. I'm going to only be going out if I got to go to the store, which I know I'm going to have to go out to my bank and pay my rent Wednesday. So that's when I'm going to have to have my mask and my gloves, which I got some gloves. And when I go to the store, you know, I keep my distance. I don't, before this virus, I didn't really like that many people near me, close up on me like that in a close proximity because I'm claustrophobic. So I got to have space. Even when sitting on the bus, I don't want nobody sitting next to me because I don't know if you got the virus. And even before this happened, I was like, "Uh uh-uh, this bus already small. No, please sit somewhere else because I am claustrophobic for real. I do not like being in tight confined spaces i don't so please keep your distance to keep down the spread of this virus hopefully we can beat this shit by september please if not october because i don't want to still be dealing with this shit for thanksgiving for christmas no and damn sure not new year's because i got plans next year Since Corona ain't letting nobody live their lives, it's just killing people. Can we please get rid of it by the end of this year? I want to say October, please, so everybody can go have some peace. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this virus. Damn you, Corona. And damn you, government, for not doing more to protect us. Because had shit would have been done the right way in Texas, especially in Houston, We wouldn't be at a level one threat. Y'all asses should have did what Judge Linda Haddago said do a long time ago. Y'all should not have rushed to open up Houston, Texas. Y'all should have waited until after the 4th of July. That's my opinion. And then we wouldn't have cases going out the wazoo. Hospitals is getting filled up. If they don't do something, Houston is going to become the next major city with the pandemic going on. It's on the way to be going that now, so they better do something. People can't live their lives and enjoy their lives because of this bullshit. Get it right, damn government. Now, besides ranting and raving, because yes, I had to rant, holla and rave for a little bit. I'm going to talk about this do grow Sulfur 8, number 8 usage challenge. Look how much I don't use, y'all. Look how much. Yes. That much. Bam, bam, damn, bam, damn. I don't use this much. That's eight uses. So I'm thinking I got about four more uses out of this. Two to four more uses. Okay. Definitely not one. That'd be way too much. I know not two more. So I say maybe three more, possibly four more uses. I mean, look, that's about four more uses, I think. Because I didn't use that much this time. I guess because my hair is getting used to it. You know, I don't need as much. But when I first used it, started using it, my hair was like, ooh, I'm thirsty. It's tingling. And, you know, I just put a little bit of uh, stuff. Oh, that's all sheen. If y'all wondering what the, uh, y'all like, what is that? It look all white and shot. That's all sheen. That's the olive oil, O-R-S, coconut oil sheen. With the olive oil and coconut infused in it. That's just for my strands. Because, you know, you showing the scalp some love by moisturizing that. You showing your ends some love. What about your strands? Just because they're in a twist out does not mean you are not supposed to moisturize your strands. Now, some done melted into the strands. Some is still, you know, slowly melting in there. That's fine. But it's moisturized. It's hydrated. It is what it is. Now, I know I was supposed to get a weave next month. I'm going to see how this shit go and have to play it by ear because my weave was supposed to be put in 
while I went to Florida, while I could get out of Houston and have some fun. I'm tired of looking at damn Houston, Texas because of this damn virus. Yes, it's a whole damn rant. Because I was supposed to be on the beach enjoying myself. That's why next month I was going to start dieting, exercising, so I could have just a whole lot of me time, fun, and be relaxed, be on vacation, and be less stressed. Now I got to deal with this virus shit. Now I got to deal with shit. Pop it off like this. People don't know how to control this shit. This ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. So, yes, this is the eighth time usage. I'm going to bring this back because that's what, you know, I had to rant a little bit. So, I had to show y'all how serious this is here in Houston. (laughs) Bring this back a little bit. Yeah, that's eight uses out of that. Bam. Zoom out. Damn. It's in the blue magic jar because I when the blue magic ran out, I said, hey, I got something for the do bro challenge. I didn't put it in the eco styler jar because I still got some eco styler left. I got to find a way to use that because, you know, products is good for a year. And that eco styler been down there since October. So I'm probably going to have to figure out, do some wash and goes, use it as an edge control, use it as some, use it with some twist outs, do something with it. Because I can't just let it just sit there and go to waste. I don't like having product be thrown out. All the way I'm going to throw a product out is if my hair didn't like it. I honestly think I forgot about it. <laughs> For a while. Ugh. I know, y'all. We still dealing with this virus. I wanted to do some fun stuff next month and get prepared. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to Miami. This virus is going to be over by July. No, we still dealing with this shit. Which I'm sick of it. I know y'all sick of it, too. Oh, if you're sick of the virus and you want it to go away, Lord. The government sucks. They have failed us. So, yeah, that's a whole wreck. I'm tired of this virus. I'm trying to make shit make sense. I'm sorry if I um, said some shit that didn't make sense. But y'all know how frustrating this shit is. Innocent people have lost their lives that it's just like, damn, this is ridiculous. Now, to the guilty ones who knew about this virus and did absolutely nothing to stop it from coming in this country and fucking up everything, them guilty ones, they're the ones that need to be catching this virus. Not the innocent people and the innocent citizens that had no clue this was going to affect us like this. But to the powers that be that knew about this, they the ones need to be catching this virus and suffering from it. And that's some real shit. All right, my fams. Talk to y'all later, because this is some straight-up bullshit. Bye.